Darth Vader has finally become all machine. At 91 years old, James Earl Jones has retired from the Dark Lord of the Sith and has signed over the rights to Lucasfilm so they can use AI to voice Vader in any future project. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. It's super controversial right now. Yeah, yeah, for a lot of reasons. But it's interesting because they kind of already have done this before. This isn't new. Yeah, so the yeah. studio has already used AI for Vader's voice in Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke yeah. Skywalker's voice in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. But there are several, several other examples. Val Kilmer, Anthony Bourdain, Andy Warhol. Right. AI has been voicing a lot of these uh, these people and it's been controversial uh, on every step of the way. And now Alexa, uh, Amazon, I should say, is training its um, technology to basically use your dead relatives to read you bedtime stories if you wanted to. Mm, um, that you could start about that. Right. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. But how do you feel about this? I do think it's not right, personally. Uh, and again, you know, who is this benefit except for a corporation in order to make sure that they don't have to a go out and try to find new actors. So they don't have to pay them anything. Um, it's an indefinite right. Uh, when it, so it's a lump sum payment and the actor who gave the rights away is dead. So who's even here to challenge the ownership of it. So it's, it's really a very greedy corporate thing. And as I don't see it as, as useful to anybody else personally. Yeah. I, I was kind of trying to, think about this as roundly as I could. And, you know, is it, is it a neat feature to be able to record your relatives or keep oh, a character that's alive? That's different. For new Sorry. Well, well I think those, these alive, are different things. To your point, keeping yeah. a character alive for new generations to experience. Um, but the, the risk here is that there's ethics, com like you're vulnerable to ethic violations, impersonations that could put your security at risk. Your your identity could be could be stolen. You could be wrongfully prosecuted or set up in a way. Mm. Um, so does that's that true. outweigh yeah. the entertainment value of this? And I think that's what you're getting. You, I th yeah, I think that the yeah, what you're referencing there is very true and very that 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 is a very real danger right, for when you start doing it on the, the the personal level in terms of keeping dead relatives alive via whatever voice work you want to do. So that's why I said, I think this is, it's a, it's a completely separate issue. I think whether somebody, I think the rules that need to govern, whether you want to keep grandpa alive so he can continue to read bedtime stories to his great, great, great grandchildren is a very different situation and scenario than what Disney's doing here. I think that, you know, it's, we could, you could get another voice actor to voice Darth Vader and they will sound quite similar and you will pay them, a, you know, a, a just price for their voice acting and their work. Uh, I think right now you're just, you're getting away. It's a, it's a, it's a way of, it's a cost saving method that you're, you're basically cascading under per progress in terms of, uh, you know, evolution of using artificial, you know, using uh, robotics or or what have you, and I think that that's uh, th I think that needs to be called out because I can't see. Yeah, I just it's just crazy. It's it's now, it's, it's sad. I think it's sad. It, is this uh, an example though of you can't stop progress? Now, I not mean progress in in a, in a positive way, just the progression of innovation, um, and you know, it's done. It's possible, and you can't stop it. Like, yeah. how do you stop this? Or you don't you sign your rights away. <laughs> so it's really up to people it. not signing their rights away and say, no, yeah. I'm, I, I mean, license that to you. You use your AI, but every time you use AI, my estate is going to get paid. You could do that. I mean, he might have done that too. I don't, do, do you know if he, if the James Earl didn't go into that? He, he might, that. His, he might have set his, you know, his relatives up for, you know, what do you call it? Like perpetuity uh, by uh, by signing this deal. So there, there could be something, some knock on effect to it. Uh, you know, you would just hope that there isn't a loophole somewhere down the line, you know, hundred years of this. And who knows who's really going to be getting the money, except well, I do the only I know the only real person getting the money will be the corporation because they're the ones who with the longevity and the arm, the legal arm to George Lucas, to the 22nd. I'm just saying they're the only ones with the legal arm to 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 enforce these rights 300 years in the future. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I get. I, I I'm not going to blame any one person. I don't blame James Earl Jones for doing this. I mean, it, it was probably pitched to him in a very cool way. I mean, how old is he now? He's like 80 something. 91. 91. All right. So you got a 91 year old man to sign his likeness and voice away. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Who is around James Earl Jones is the next question we should be asking. Who is protecting this man? Uh, 
I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, he he very well could be in charge of his faculties, and uh, yeah, he just thinks it's cool, and there's nothing, you know. I don't blame. There might, him. You're right. There might be more to this. He may have indeed done that, but he may have set himself and his family up for. It's, it shouldn't be down to this. It shouldn't be down to this. Like you know, this is this is where we talk about how uh, our laws and our legal system is just so woefully behind in terms of where they need to be in enforcing the, the latest challenges, the late latest legal challenges of our society. And this is just another example of it. it. It just should be, it should not be allowed. It should be illegal to sign such a deal for someone to give, it should be illegal for a citizen to give their voice away in death to a corporation. It's, it's very like, use. it's got like little mermaid vibes to it. It's very like, Signing your voice away, isn't that what yeah. Ariel did? Oh yeah, that's exactly what Ariel does. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, it, it, people should already be protected against this. This and, should be. Uh... And Elsa was a villain, <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, the exactly. Irony, yeah, the well, where here. do you think they got the idea? They're this, they're, 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 they probably call it the Ursula Project. <laughs> Give me your voice. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh God, someone needs to do imagine a rip off of that. Imagine Daniel Earl Jones. Singing. That's how they did it. Someone needs to make that. Oh that, my that, god, that would oh, be so that's funny. A good, that's actually, yeah, that's a good. Um, that's a good that's little a good TikTok know, or something. You have like Darth Vader losing his voice, <laughs> 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 singing it away. Oh god, that's terrible, Vader. <laughs> tell you know what we're doing here but yeah that's pretty good if you're out there and you're you're uh you're adobe inclined listeners uh that that's a freebie we'll give that yeah one. you can take that one um yeah that's crazy that's just such craziness to to do something like that i don't i don't know i, I, I mean it, it it's it's very personal like or personal and yeah i i you know is it like signing your i mean because you can sign your likeness away like you like that painter dude like lost his name the mm-hmm. guy with the happy accidents, right? I don't know if you watched his mm-hmm. documentary or whatever. Um, but it, it, people do that, right? You sign your your name away. You sign your likeness away. I mean, it, is this any different? You're signing your voice away. Well, you, you, you can't sell your kidney, right? Like, you can't sell your organs. N- no. So um, I'm saying you, you could can, fall but, but, under the same whatever the legality is that protects people from being taken advantage of by selling organs or selling limbs. It should be it just should fall under the same thing. Yeah, but you can like if you turn your face into a like a, like like Wendy's or something, right? Like mm-hmm. that girl, that's based on his daughter, right? The right, Wendy's is. sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I mean, Dave Thomas. They sell that to someone. That's is that different? I mean, no, no, no it's uh, characterized or whatever. It's made into yeah. a cartoon, but I'm sure there's examples of that in in business somewhere where people are selling their likeness, right? Yeah. I mean, you're in movies and you don't own those, right? You're selling. You signed a contract to sell, but you get royalties only because you work that into the deal. You I could, there, you could you could you, can you, you not, be in like, a movie? You, you can be yeah. You can be an extra and not get royalties. Oh, right? an extra. Yeah, that's fair. That's so fair. is this different? I mean, I'm not trying to split hairs, but I'm trying to be like true about it. Is that different? Well, I think it is different because you could be an extra in one movie. Does that? But then could that studio copy and paste you into a million movies as an extra? They do that now, don't they? They have. They, well, um, I, I, they've. I, well, they the do that. Rings of Power has been a lot. They, they've actually. But there was another. There was another show that did that. They've been um, well. That's the most. I think they're the most controversial right now. That in the crowd they've been. I copying like that and show. Pasted. I, like I know. That. I'm just saying they've been. They've like been copying and pasting for a billion dollar production. Copying and pasting three or four people over and over again to create a crowd is is a little suspect. You're you know like, what? Well, if if, if the money's going towards the story, I don't care. Okay, yeah, I'm just I'm just saying that. It, but that's one thing to do it within the same work that you've signed on for. It's a whole other thing to just keep pasting your. You do one little thing. What about the um, order. no? What about the uh, robots? Where we did an episode on it, where you could you could sell your face for a hundred thousand dollars, and they'll put it on all yeah, the robots right. and the masks and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, is that different? I think, well, I think we're going to, again, it's going to be a gray area. It's going to be something that people are going to have to look at. But to at. your something point, should you not be able to do that? Like, well, to your point, it's like, okay, yeah, you, you, great, Jamie, you're bringing up examples of things that people do that no one should be able to do. Um, I, I don't know. It could, I'm just saying that they're just, my, my, I guess what I'm trying to say is that there should be more protections than just simply, hey, uh, I signed a contract with a corporation. There should be some sort of investigation to ensure that there is limitation. First of all, there needs to be limitation on it. I don't even know if there is.